Hey guys, Sting right here. Welcome to a um, updated replica belt collection video. I know I haven't done a like a full full uh, replica belt collection video in a while, so I'm gonna be doing that today. And also um, follow me on Twitter. I just created uh, well, I didn't create an account recently. I mean, but I created it a couple months ago, and I'm just starting to get into it again. I mean, I started up in the beginning, but now I'm starting to get into it again. Now um, I always update it and stuff. So uh, check that out. The link is in the description. So follow me on Twitter and um, check out my other channel, Stingray Eight Hundred Nine. And we'll get to this belt collection right now. Uh, I'm gonna be showing you guys updates on them. Even though I did like in-depth videos of all of these belts, I'm just gonna be showing you guys a uh, little difference differences that I did to them and just showing you them all in detail for this uh, 10 to 11 minute video that I'll be doing all right so on the United States champ I don't know how many times I did this but um I'm just showing you guys this because more people watch the full collection videos than they do the separate videos you know so um yeah notable difference is that I put a less of a curve on the United States belt I mean it's it looks a little I don't know. I liked it a lot with the curve, but a lot of people said they didn't like it. But um, I think I'm going to stick with it with the curve. I mean, I don't really care for it that much with being flat. But yeah, on, on the United States, you got six plates. Uh, three side over here, two side over there. Center plate. And uh, you got a Stingray nameplate on there, which is me. Me. And um, United States champion engraved on the gold tip. And on the back of it, like I said in my other videos, it's re-screwed. Uh, that was kind of a... That was from the uh, gold... Uh, normal stock screws that I had. The gold came off on them. And now I just never really took that out. I mean, it's easy to come out, though. I mean, I mean it's not that big of a deal. Um, all these belts, basically, I got off of eBay. Like I said, this one... This is my most recent one that I got. Uh, this one I got for, like, 175 in the past... A long time ago. This one I got for $99 just like uh, last week. No, t yeah, last week. And uh, this one is I got for 99 as well. and Because it, it's commemorative. But with the center plate, it was like uh, 150 I believe. And uh, that one I got as a gift. And that one is, I got, that was my first belt ever that I got on eBay for 150 Um, But yeah, I re how I bought all these belts, you might be asking. Well, I basically sold a lot of stuff on eBay, and I bought some. Uh, I sold a lot of stuff in my closet, like stuff I didn't need, stuff I didn't care about, but other people wanted it. So uh, I bought these. It was still a lot of money left over, so that's a pretty cool uh, gamble right there, I guess you could say. Uh, so let's move on to the ECW belt. Um, I didn't really do an in depth video of this, but I can do it right now uh, for whatever time we have. A uh, very nice shape belt. Uh, it's got five straps over, uh, five snaps over here. They're a lot closer together than they are on the other uh, belts. Um, but yeah, you got five plates on here. This is probably my second favorite out of my, out of my collection right now. Uh, this being the first. Uh, I still haven't rescrewed this belt yet. I'm going to do it one day. Uh, just not right now. Whenever I find the time. Um, I like the 2007 version more than I do the original one, only because of the more detail on it, uh, the black etching and the black, uh, stuff. I think it looks cooler. Uh, some people said they like the 2000, uh, I mean, the classic version better, but, um, I don't really care for it as much. I don't know why. I have the classic, uh, Jax one, the small one. I didn't, I didn't really care for it as much. In the beginning, I liked it, but then... Uh, this one has always been on me. It, this has always been a belt I always wanted. It really has. But then I got that so I could order autograph. So I could get it autographed by Christian. Um, and, um, yeah, so that's why I got this one. Uh, it's very detailed. Uh, for $99, I mean, even a person who wants the classic ECW, you can't pass it up for $99. I mean, seriously. Um, you got your baseball bats over there, world heavyweight, uh, wrestling. Champion, ECW, uh, Hardcore Wrestling on the side, uh, and then Hardcore Wrestling over here as well. Uh, it's in tip-top shape, this belt, it really is. Uh, you got all your snaps over here, they're closer together than they are anywhere else. We'll just do the back of the belt really quick. Yeah, I still haven't re-screwed the belt. It's in great shape, though, for a $99 belt, really. It came with the cloth bag and everything. And, uh, yeah, it's what it is. 
Uh, so we'll move on to the next belt right now. Uh, the ECW 2008 version, yeah. Uh, so I bought this as a replica rec, replica uh, clock. Uh, so it's a metal center plate. I covered the hole as best I can, but that thing keeps falling out. I mean, it's it's really less noticeable than it really was. I mean, it was really noticeable. Now it's not really as noticeable as it is, uh, as it was before, I should say. But, um, yeah, it's in uh, great shape. Center plate weighs about 8 to 10 pounds. It's really heavy. It's about ultra deluxe size. Uh, now that they sell the the adult size for one ninety nine, I'm pretty mad. I should have waited, like... But then again, I would have never got it autographed, so it pays for itself, really. Um, but now that they're selling these uh, belts for really cheap, $200 for the uh, adult size replica, I find that really as a, of a good deal uh, for anyone who, ha who doesn't have this belt. I mean, I, I have the commemorative with a metal center plate, so... Uh, that's a quality... Uh, it's really quality. It's much better than having it as a plastic center plate. I must say, it really is. Um, uh, but yeah, uh, if you haven't checked that out, check out Wrestling Superstore for or AJS belts. They have the adult size uh, ECW belt, and it's for one ninety nine. Like I said, and the commemorative is only sixty nine dollars, so you can get that and the metal center plate for probably like one twenty, uh, or even less than that. Yeah, probably less. That's a great deal, though. Um, but yeah, you have your WWE ECW logo, especially since ECW is no more, this could have some, maybe some value, I don't know, I'm just saying, maybe it could, I don't know, uh, but then again, it's a commemorative, and that doesn't hold much value, and I think they're trying to get rid of the belts now, that's why they're so cheap, um, even 200 bucks for that, that's a great deal, I still can't stop saying that, um, like I said, I was going to buy this belt first, but I mean, I couldn't find it anywhere. They, I mean, the sellers didn't have it and stuff, so they weren't they weren't posted or anything on eBay. So, um, I just went with this one, so I bought the center plate and the commemorative, so I can get it autographed. But then when I saw Christian autographing these ECW belts too, I was pretty mad. But then again, this belt has grown on me for a really long time, and I really like this belt. I mean... It's just got so much detail and stuff. Uh, 3D plates and everything. It's a really nice belt. I mean, you can't pass up a great deal. Uh, anyways, but then again, I found this belt. I would have spent more money on this belt in the past than I would have at this time. Uh, so, yeah. Um, let's, let's get to the WWE Spinner Belt. Um, some people said they didn't... Oh, some people said they didn't like the... Um, the faded look on it, but I mean the camera doesn't justify it. It really doesn't. I have to say, um, please don't rely on the camera and make comments on this in particular because I mean it looks awesome in person. It, I must say it really does. I mean, especially version three is the version that Edge held before he introduced the rated R spinner, and um, I keep answering questions about that. Like, what's a V3? What's a V3? Uh, well, that's, the like I said, the version Edge held before he introduced the Rated R Spinner Belt. So, um, yeah, that's with the black etching, the black lock, and the black etching over there, and the black there. So, yeah, the, it's, it looks like it's a professionally done belt. It really does. I'm not going to lie. I mean, it's not, it's not like as gold as that, not as silver as that, it's just like in between. I like it a lot, I don't care what anybody says, it's really unique. Um, when I take it to a, a live show, they're like, how'd you, I mean, uh, where'd you get that belt from, where'd you get that belt from? Like, a whole bunch of people always come up to you, where'd you get that belt from, where'd you get that belt from? I mean, because everybody has like the gold, you not, you, um, the normal uh, WWE spinner belt, uh, the championship spinner, and then... Uh, yeah, they only have that thing. It's not unique at all. It's not, uh, anything new. But, um, this one is something unique, something never before seen, so that's why people like it. Uh, so yeah, with that being said, produced a pretty strong argument right there, if you agree. Maybe, maybe not, no. Uh, let's get on to the last belt of the five. Uh, World Heavyweight Champion. Uh, I think I did a lot of in-depth on these belts already. But, uh, yeah, it's got the XBWF champion, that's what we use. This is the world title for the XBWF that we use. Which is the Backyard Wrestling, uh, Extreme Backyard Wrestling Federation that we started up last June. Uh, this is probably my most flexible, well, one of my most flexible belts. 
Um, I could soften it up maybe for the time. I mean, I never did the bucket effect to this. I never did anything to it. It just came like that. I think it's a deluxe. I really do. I mean, even though uh, this end is not as not the same texture as a deluxe, I really think it's a deluxe belt. Because in in the past, in 2003, uh, Figures Inc. could have made uh, these belts like th could have had better straps like this, you know. Um, so yeah. And then you have the United States Spinner Belt, which is also really flexible. Hopefully, I can get this all in my little time that I have left. Yeah, this, this is also very flexible. And the ECW is also very flexible as well, which came like this. Well, not as flexible, but it's flexible. You know? Uh, so, yeah, guys. Comment, rate, subscribe uh, to Stingray809, to Darkling809, because we'd probably the best entertainment around. And spread the word. See you guys later.